Comfortable in the A hole. Personally, I think that I have the loudest section here on the A. Yeah, that's correct. That's right. Let's show Bass and just how loud we can be. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah! That's very good. That's very good. Batson, how are your side doing over there? Jumping kid, come here. Come here. Jumping kid. <laughs> you got everyone over here so You ready to get him back? Yeah? You are? Grab this. Grab that. Get him. Soak him. <laughs> right in the face. That was awesome. That was great. Oh, oh, oh. You spray that kid? Yeah. That kid? Yeah. Why? Why would you spray that kid? Because <laughs> we can. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool at all. That's called peer pressure. You don't have to worry about that. Sir, I think it's time we had a little adult time. Yeah? This is not a kid. Are you going to spray him? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's very cool. Grab this. Grab that. Spray him. Oh. <laughs> Give it up to this guy right here. All right, let's get back to work. Look at the car also. Bob Bumblebee, this is General Morshaw. Do you copy? <laughs> Yellow, we are done. It was so fast. It was so fast. <laughs> here, here, here. There is something inside there. Inside the cave here. There is something. Let's go. Here, this cave here. sit still you guys can talk amongst yourselves and take some photos they just don't want to hear my loud voice on the microphone okay so i will let you know when that's going to happen uh and it might happen unexpectedly but we'll let you know uh but yeah they are out there filming today there's a real working studio so keep that in mind you guys all of your backpacks purses camera bags cell phones hang on to all of your belongings Look at that, there's the DeLorean. Now, sometimes these picture cars, they can become just as famous as the stars that are driving them, right? A good example is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Everybody loves Marty McFly, but they also really love this car. Now, that car, the DeLorean, it used to be on our property here at Universal for a long time, but now it's at the Peterson Automotive Museum, which is also here in Los Angeles, uh, on display for everyone to get some photos. If you have some time in your vacation while you're visiting, we're gonna there. Remember the manure got dumped on top of it? I'm gonna show you guys a clip in a second. And then we also have Back to the Future Part 2, the Lightstar Pulse for Pro Ford Edsel right over here. And we also have the Flintstone cars. If you guys are fans of the Flintstone movies, remember that, John Goodman, Rick Moranis, there they are. All right. Now, also, if you're a fan of the Fast and the Furious films, the actual drift racers are coming up on the left-hand side. They're over here lined up for you, the Monza RX-7, the Nissan Skyline, and we also have, um, Another car down at the end is the Willy Coop car. Um, my favorite picture car on the left-hand side is the the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. You're going to see the gyrosphere over here, but you're not going to see any glass around it like you saw in the movie. The reason why you don't see any glass here, there never was any glass. You would get a reflection of the crew and the camera during filming. All the glass in those scenes, it was literally all digital. It was all fake, all CGI. Nothing was real about it, all right? Uh, but you can see that over there. It's all lined up. You had the two kids inside covered in glass. Take a look at your screens. Please, no lights. Thank you. Oh, you guys, we're surrounded left and 
right hand side. These dinosaurs have spotted us. Leave us alone. Go away. Those are the same dinosaurs that Uh oh, wait a minute. Where'd the dinosaurs go? I promise you there were dinosaurs in those cages the last time we were here. I'm not even kidding. So we're just gonna cruise on as we start to drive through this area. You guys might see uh, that up ahead we have this dinosaur on the left hand side waiting for you. He's a big guy. Raise your hands if you guys believe me and agree with me that in the Jurassic Park films, every time the T-Rex showed up, it was always raining. Yep, that happens all the time, right? The reason why they do that, it helps to set the mood. It kind of helps to intensify the scene. Something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep pressing me. Listen now, man. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm closed. 